Hello everyone and welcome. I'm Mario and today we are doing a Costco kitchen and home gadget edition. Stick around. Yeah, I know this video is a lot different than what I normally do and I am so sorry about the microphone. I bought a brand new microphone but I want to do that as part of an unboxing because my headset microphone is garbage and the camera microphone doesn't want to work because apparently my Logitech 4K Brio cam uh, is garbage. Uh, they did a firmware update and Microsoft doesn't want to provide a software fix. So basically I've got uh, an expensive paperweight for a 4K camera. I'm hoping something happens quick to fix that issue, but uh, it doesn't look good at this point. So uh, I went to Costco today and I kind of miss them because I used to live near a Costco and we have a BJ's here, but it's just not the same. Uh, but whenever I go into Costco, I'm like a giddy kid because I see all this stuff that I would like and want to look at and buy and whatever. So I saw a few things I, I thought I would end up sharing. Now some of these are on sale, some are not. Some the sale ends tomorrow, some are going longer and uh, some are not on sale. I just thought they were cool gadgets in general. So I thought I'd share that with you. Let's get going. So first up is the Gourmet 5 Quart Air Fryer. I did a review on this and for 55 bucks you can't go wrong. I did buy it at $50 um, but it's 60 online, but again, 55 in store, so this is a great deal if you can scoop them up as they're back in stock. The Cuisinart Belgium Waffle Maker, it basically stands upright and you just pour the batter from the top and it's supposedly no mess. I still prefer my Flip Waffle Maker up there in the right-hand corner, but I thought this was a pretty cool gadget. Whether or not it's worth $40 is another question. Normally I wouldn't show anything like this, but it's a silicone set. And the reason why I'm showing it is using metal utensils on the air fryer basket, especially some of those sensitive ones, can really ruin the finish. And that goes for other uh, pots and pans as well. So I just figured I'd show you this, and it is on sale, so what the heck. Sorry for the bad picture, but this is the Calphalon uh, stacking uh, pot and pan set. Now this is actually pretty good. It is expensive, you know, at 300 bucks. However, if you have a really small kitchen with small storage, these things stack up really nicely. I can't tell you how aggravating it is to stack pots and pans in my cabinets right now. This is the Oster Digital French Door Oven with convection. While it isn't an air fryer, it is a super convection type oven, which may give you similar revolts to something like the Breville Smart Oven Air. I just thought it was a cool idea, and when you open one door, the other door opens as well. However, I think that's something looking to break. I know there's a lot of people out there who buy in bulk, me especially, and this is a vacuum seal food saver. I personally don't have one, but I've heard of people who have them and love them. And the automatic vacuum sealing system and the additional bags are on sale right now for $100 and $30 respectively. Here we have the Nordic Wear Baking Sheets. It comes with a top grate. Now these are made in the USA with the exception of the grate themselves which are imported. I have a couple of cushy sheets now that I use but they're pretty badly worn and I use parchment paper on top whenever I use them. They are the same as the old sheets that I have. It'll be interesting to see how they hold up. And they're on sale for 16 bucks right now so I figured I'd give it a go. Here's a Cuisinart uh, mini food processor, and right now it's on sale for 20 bucks. previously 25 I really want a food processor, but I really can't fit another large item anywhere in my kitchen, so I may have to break down and buy something small like this. Here we have the Cuisinart Classic Metal Black Stainless Steel Knife Set. I really like the black look, it looks really sleek, and uh, right now it's down to 10 bucks, normally $13. I already have a decent set, and since now I sharpen my knives, I have no need, but I thought this was a really nice set for the money. Here's a Kamenstein rotating spice set. It'll hold 20 spices, and, you know, you can refill them or change whatever is in them, label them, whatever, but, you know, maybe uh, someone bought someone an air fryer and you want to get a gift to compliment it or something, and they're just starting out. I think this is perfect, and it doesn't take up a lot of room. Here's a set of three silicone baking mats. I bought a set of Amazon Basics that will cost a little more than these, but they're great to line the bottom of my Breville Smart Oven Air tray so it's easier to clean up. I also have some round ones for my air fryer for easier to clean up if I know I'm going to make a big mess. And right now they're on sale for 10 bucks from 13 so it's actually not a bad buy. 
accidents do happen and here we have two different types of fire extinguishers uh, we got a pair for 20 bucks and then a larger unit for 35 that you might typically see in uh, you know a business or something um, I personally have one right under the kitchen sink and in the furnace room so they're on hand in case there is a problem Okay, we're stepping away from food. So here we have the Trasanti adjustable height desk. I can't tell you how much I hate sitting all the time. And this is great. As you can see in the bottom right hand corner, it's got four height memory presets. So, you know, you sit down for a while, you stand up, you know, and it'll raise and lower your, you know, desk, monitor, everything on it. And uh, I think I'm going to be doing this sometime in the future once I get more situated in my office. Now, it isn't cheap at $230, but it may be worth your sanity. Okay, I love my lifetime folding tables and chairs. Now, I have uh, different versions as I bought them many years ago, but when we have gatherings, we set up two of these tables and about 10 of these chairs, and we have our big oak table, and you know we could fit maybe uh, eight people on that thing, and uh, this just makes it a lot easier, and you don't have to have a table set up all the time. These are nice, collapsible, and easy enough to handle. Costco has some of the best selection of LED lights I've seen, and they also have the best prices as far as I'm concerned. You can get any of these you see here for about 4 bucks, and they go upwards of 15 there normally. I was one of those early adopters for the compact fluorescents and the LED lightings, and I really paid a high price for that. But on the flip side, I am one of the most efficient homes in my entire area according to my electric company, and they are very happy with me. Well, winter is here. It's going to snow tomorrow. And uh, I love these extension snow white brooms. Uh, I got a truck, and you've got to take the snow off your vehicle. You can't leave it on the top of the roof. I've seen some nasty stuff happen. And uh, usually I buy one or two of these every year because I end up breaking them. I buy them at BJ's for 15 bucks. But this year I figured I'd give this one a shot. And uh, it was $16. Bucks. Uh, the button... To rotate the head doesn't seem as uh, nice as the one at BJ's, but like I said, I'm going to give this one a shot because I keep breaking the BJ's ones every year. It happens. Your car doesn't start at the worst time possible. This is a jump starter and portable power bank. I know someone who runs a body shop and vehicles can sit for a while depending on parts availability and insurance companies fighting it out. And uh, he's told me that he keeps this in his coat pocket and as he has to move cars, he won't start. He clips this on and it just starts everything right up. Now, this is a smaller bank, but there are larger ones that can start those bigger engines and even some diesel engines. And I have a more powerful one. But what is your sanity worth? You can call AAA if you have it or some other type of car service, but this will also charge your phone. So if you're in your car and your car won't start, well, guess what? Now you can charge your phone too with this little bad boy. Speaking of bad batteries, um, you know, in the wintertime, your battery uh, just doesn't have the power as it would as in the summertime. Uh, maybe you're going away on vacation and you only start that car once a week. This is a great little device. You can plug it in connected to your battery now I don't know how good this particular unit is you know they all make these bold claims which usually aren't true however I know people that do connect these to their cars that they only drive in the summers on the winter time so come summer they start right up yep or snow stuff uh, this is a snow broom uh, the head on it is 26 by 6 inches and it extends to 18 feet uh, but I also use this and mostly for hanging decorations up on the trees outside. Uh, I got my 3D printer. I printed out a couple of hooks and brackets to help me push things up. You could also just cut, tape a couple of nails to the top of the pole, and that'll do the same thing, but not as nice. And I also use that little hook you see in the bottom right-hand corner, and I've actually uh, hung up uh, big lit signs, and it does a really good job, and uh, I think it was well worth the price. There were so many other toys and goodies I want to share, but this video is getting kind of long. So there's a quick flash of what other things that I saw that were on sale, but I saved the best for last. Yep, the Costco hot dog. A buck fifty will get you a hot dog and a drink with a refill. It's my understanding that uh, this originally started out with a little food cart out front of the store that would sell the hot dog and soda, and back then it was a dollar fifty. And to this day, years and years and years later, it's still a buck fifty for the hot dog and soda. So normally the thing I do is. I go into Costco, I get myself a hot dog and a soda, eat it, drink it, walk around the store, get what I need to, and on the way out, I get my free refill. 
Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell so you know when I put out a new video. And I'll see you on the next one. Thanks a lot. No way Friday Unplugged today, folks.